This time around, I'm going to be showing you how to join your second through to 15th um, pentagon, where basically you'll be joining on two sides. So I've already created um, the, uh, the border for round six on our first side, and um, I'll be showing you how we attach to our already attached first block. So uh, stick around and I'll show you how to do that. first thing we need to do is make sure that we're actually going to attach it on the correct side. Um, it would be very easy to think, here's our first block and we attach on side two. So here's side one, here's side two, we attach going round this way. No, you do not attach on side two of your first block, you attach on side two of your second block, the block that you are working. It's side two of the block you're working, which means that we're going to be on this side. So we'll be going around clockwise. Um, to, to add our pentagons on. And in the same way that we joined with a treble, a chain, a slip stitch, a chain and a treble when we joined to our bands, we will be doing exactly the same thing when we join to our side as well as our band. So the corner down here might get a little bit claggy, but um, hopefully that's the point of the video is to show you that in a bit more detail. The uh, border along the bottom will be exactly the same. The border along the other sides will be exactly the same. But I'm just going to work you through this corner down to that corner and then um, the rest you can see for yourself. You'll have already worked once. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is start to fill in this corner with our trebles. So we have one treble. We have one chain. And now this is where we're going to top down, join with a slip stitch. And we're going to have another chain. And we're going to complete this corner with our final treble. So as before, if I move the hook out of the way, you can see we are now joining with a treble, a chain, a slip stitch, a chain, and another treble. So the two points should be attached to each other with a slip stitch. And as we did before, we're going to keep our yarn going down the center of the two panels. We'll tidy away our loose ends as we go. But we're going to start off with a treble. And then we will slip stitch into the top of our first stitch, which is here. So we're not in the in the, uh, the corner chain space, we are in the first stitch. So we'll just slip stitch that through. And then move on to treble. Find our loose end. Start incorporating that in the trebles. And then we slip stitch down in the next available stitch. And bring that back up. And then I'll continue on down to the far corner in that same method. To recap. We have less stitches in the red band than we do in the gold band because the gold band won't match the count until we've created our green band. So we need to be joining with a slip stitch in the corner, but then as soon as we create this next treble, so we have a treble, chain, slip, chain, treble, this treble should be then slip stitched into the next available stitch on the gold so that we have the two trebles in this corner space section linking to each other and then from that point on your stitches should match beautifully all the way down to the end but if you don't get that one correct this will not be in alignment by the time you get down to the bottom so I just just mentioned that because that is important to get that um, lined up correctly um, if you find that you are one or two stitches out down the end simply pull it back out and then make sure that these top two are joined to each other. Once you've got that sorted, the rest of it will become a breeze. And once you've done that once or twice, you won't even be thinking about it. It'll just automatically happen. So now we've come down to this corner join and we're at the point of putting our treble into the corner. We're going to be chaining one and then we're going to go back through the uh, the band. So 
So we're going to insert our hook down, and this might be slightly more cumbersome because we've got so many other joins there, and then pull that through in a slip stitch. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to complete with a final treble in that corner. Now, the reason that I tidied away those um, loose ends last time around when I went up this side of panel one was because if we try to do that join with a load of um, loose ends in the way, it becomes incredibly cumbersome and difficult to find. And what we want is this beautiful, neatly aligned um, cross join so that it looks as, as, as neat and tidy as we can get it. And then we're simply going to continue on with our joins, with our slip stitch on the panel and our trebles on the um, the pentagon, which I will show you a couple more times just so that you can uh, clearly see that process. So we drop through, slip stitch up, treble down, and then uh, slip stitch down through that panel again. And um, I shall join you back at the far end. And here we are at the end and as before it is simply a matter of slip stitching through to uh, to complete that final join um, and then tying off. But just to recap, now that we've um, tied everything off we're going to be going clockwise not counterclockwise we're joining on the second panel of the new or the second side of the new pentagon panel each time we join and uh, we're aiming to have as flat and neat a join as we can have so where we create the treble um, chain slip stitch chain treble that second treble that we create is going to be slip stitched into the top of the stitch on the opposite panel so that we're joining as neatly as we can at the top. The rest will then follow through to beautifully give you this gorgeous cross at the intersection of all four panels. Um, again you'll be doing a treble, chain, slipping through from the top of the gold banding, chain, treble. The join along here is the same as we've done down here, is the same as we've done across here which is the trebles and then a top down um, slip stitch into the, um, the the panel from the banding, um, and then the um, the borders are simply trebles all the way around, as we have done previously. So this is the joining method that you use for panel number two, all the way through to panel number fifteen, and then when I get all the way back round to here, I will show you how to join on all three sides. Uh, so the best way for you to keep up to date with all these tutorials is to subscribe to the channel. Uh, that way everything just drops into your feed. If not, um, keep looking within the Facebook group because I always post in the Facebook group when a new video is released. So hopefully I shall see you soon. Enjoy all your panels. Bye for now.